Hello everyone, this is System Collapse, and I'm back yet again, staring at a loading screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a new pack. New pack, it's called Sprout. Uh, it's alpha, so it's not even released to the public yet, but I was, I've been given access to it. About 20 of us have. Uh, you're probably going to be seeing a fair amount of people doing videos on this. Uh, it's made by the Phoenix Lodge, who was the maker of Regrowth, who hands down made my most favorite pack for 1.7. Uh, it was one of those packs people either loved it or don't. It really comes down whether you like magic packs. And when I didn't, when I started Regrowth, I did not like magic. I did not like magic mods. I didn't want anything to do with them. And then someone finally convinced me. They convinced me. They said, try out regrowth. And I said, okay, I'll give it a go. And it turned out being my my, my most favorite pack of 1.7. So uh, i really not sure what to expect from this. Like I said, this is a brand new pack. It is alpha. It's probably still going to have bugs in it. I don't know how long I'm going to play this series because, as I said, the pack isn't complete. But we're definitely going to give it a go and give it a try. So we're going to start up a brand new world. I loaded one really quick just to see what the world looked like. And it does look really distinct. So we're going to do another one here. So game mode, uh, world name, we'll just call it, uh, we'll call it System Collapse. There we go. We'll be System Collapse. There we go. Uh, survival, more world option. There was a world type we were supposed to choose. There we go. World type, ATG, alternate. We don't need any of that stuff. We don't need anything there. There we go. We should be fine. Let's try creating world and see how this goes. Uh... I, I've known about this pack for a while. I know known it's been in development for months. Uh, I don't know how far out it is from getting actually released. I know it's just, you know, it's a matter of time. A lot of time the developers are waiting on other mods to be updated uh, so they can use them or fix bugs that are being created within their packs. So that's most likely the issue. Uh, Phoenix tends to take a long time anyway because he likes to really evolve his quest. And, uh, you know, make his world really good. Really good. It just, I don't know. If you've never played Regrowth, play it. <laughs> Hands down, just play it. It was an amazing pack. And this is a long loading screen. It's loading for days. Maybe this is the game. We just stare at the loading screen. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful loading screen. It's delicious. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying. I am filling time. Okay. I just loaded in this pack. And from the get-go... I see a dragon. <laughs> what? And the world's like building around. What? Fire dragon. Is he angry? Am I gonna die right now? Can I take his stuff? Oh, let's take his stuff. He probably won't like this. Hi. Are you friendly? Oh. 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 Don't be angry. Don't be angry. I don't even know why there's so many fireworks, why anything's going on. What am I getting all these fireworks for? Wow. Six Clouds are an achievement. Those who don't believe in magic never will find it. Sky beginning. Taking inventory. Just achievements all over the place. But there's, there's dragons in this pack. Uh, piles of gold. I feel as if I should take that. Oh, and it's got the... I don't know what that mod is. It's like that ground clutter one. I don't know if he cares. He doesn't seem to care. So, I'm just going to take a little bit of his gold. Uh, can I take that chest? Okay. We'll just take this stuff. We'll pretend it's ours. <laughs> I did not know there was dragons in this, that's for sure. Um... Oh, another chest. Oh, this guy has all kinds of good stuff. All kinds of good stuff. And he's not angry. Wow, he's rich. Uh oh, uh oh, he flies. That that looks bad. Oh, uh, Holstein calf. <laughs> Buildings are building. Like stuff is happening. I'm falling. I'm falling. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. And it's got this weird, like, it's got slab, uh, grass slab. So you get this nice, even ground transformation, which is kind of cool. Uh, I feel like I should take all his gold. I, I feel like we got a good spawn, gold-wise, and uh, we should take it. <laughs> 
Uh, I know you can't like get trees normally. I know that just from the couple minutes I played it. I literally played it about five minutes and I kind of loaded near a town and there's a town and there's already villagers there and they were you know doing villager things and it seemed like there was a quest system. Oh, are you serious? What are these? We, we found the mother load. I mean, we can already make tools and stuff. Huh. Well, this is going to be an interesting pack to say the least. Uh, mods that I know are in here. There's like immersive engineering. There's Ender IO. There's a plethora of magic mods. So Ars, Magica, uh, Batania. I know Roots is in here. Uh, I'm not sure what other tech mods are in here. But I'm sure there's more. It'll be lower end of tech. Usually, if it's anything like, I shouldn't say usually because it's a completely different pack. But if it's anything like regrowth, I don't know if he's angry or not. What's this? Manuscripts. Oh, we got all kinds of weird stuff. We got more fireworks. I know this has like a weird quest system in it. I do not know what's running it. What is this? Ice and fire. I'm guessing that's going to be the mod that's creating the dragon? I don't feel like I should be able to take this dragon's stuff <laughs> without him being angry, but I'm not going to question it. Uh, what do we got here? Bird's nest? What's that do? We got this difficulty thing down at the bottom. Don't know what that's about. That gave us a bunch of stuff. Flint, string, a feather, two sticks. Sticks. Are sticks and wood normal in this? Because in... Actually, I want to see planks. Because planks were not normal in regrowth. So that's something he likes to do. Not blanks. Let's go with planks. And I saw blood magic there. So that's obviously in here. So a plank. Three oaks makes three oak. That's that's a good recipe right there. So if you ever need three oak wood blanks, just oh, these are like vertical. Oh, it's like a transformation one. Okay. Never mind me. Huh. So sticks. Let's look at these. Wow. There's too many recipes. Okay, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let's let's wander a bit. Uh what other mods? Is extra utilities in here? One I always check. Yes, it's in here, which means I think we have Ender Lilies, which is something I always try to keep track of because it means punch grass a lot. Ender Lilies, yes, extra utilities. So we have a chance of that. Uh, a stone? Okay, dropping stones gives you stuff, or breaking stones? Coke dust. Well, what is that? That's an Ars, Ma Ars Magical Flower. Wow, just so much stuff. Silent gems, I have no idea. I know some of these flowers are bad. If you touch them, <laughs> they can like do damage to you, or give you effects, or make you float. And, ooh, okay, apparently stones drop random things. Ground blast furnace slag. Let's go see what this guy is. What's this guy? An archaeologist? Well, let's go see here. He's got some weird stuff. What is this thing? A podium? We can put stuff in a podium. Get a lantern. He's got a nice monocle. What's his name? His name is Archaeologist. Okay. Oh. Why, hello there. You are an unfamiliar face. Can I help you with something? What are you doing out here? I'm researching the rare mysterious ability totems that some people have reported fighting in old ruins and other unusual structures. I'm having no luck whatsoever. Tell you what. I'm starting to get desperate, so I'm willing to have a bit of a bet with you. If you can find a totem before me, bring it here, and I'll give you a copy of my notes on the matter. Remember, you have to find it before me. Athawa hurts, you lose. No more notes for you. Your chance of winning are pretty low. I mean, I'm a master archaeologist. And apparently, he's looking for them on his roof. Oh, these are one of these waystones. I've seen these before. Uh, I haven't used them. <laughs> But there is a way to use them as like a transportation system. Uh, I'm just not sure what you need to get that going. What is that? Log seats. Wow. Got some strange buildings up there. Got some donkeys over there. The terrain den is very weird in this, I have to say. Huh. 
and I'm leaving footprints. What is that? <laughs> what? Okay. Cherry bomb bushes apparently drop cherry bombs. Who knew? <laughs> and there's was an old root from roots. So much stuff. What's this one? I almost want to step on them. Because I know some of them have random weird effects. What is this? Can I do anything with that? I have no idea. Not even worried. This is bottles of chanting. But uh, I am looking forward to this pack. It's going to be really different. This pack is really different. Um, his pack, well, his last pack definitely was. It was very unique. There was no other pack like it in 1.7 at all whatsoever. It was just well done. The quests were really done well. And the quest progress was done well. And it kind of branched in a way where you could take different routes. So if you went heavy on one prior chip out there, I'm guessing quarks in here. Uh, but if you went in one direction, are those water wheels down there? And free sheet metal. I wonder if I could take this stuff or someone gets mad at me. Oh. I have no idea what hurt me. And what's going on here? That must have been bees that hurt me. Got coarse dirt. What is this stuff? I have no idea what's going on here. What, what is this thing? Chiseled metal. Block of iron. Well, if I can take that, that I don't have a tool right now. That's, that's free iron, right? Uh, I don't even have logs yet, though, so I'm not going to worry about it. We're just kind of looking around. Uh, kind of, you know, seeing what's going on here. It's going to be a different pack for sure. And like I said, I'm not sure how long I'm going to play it. Um, because it is. This is alpha. This is an alpha pack. It's it's not even a beta yet, right? So, uh, it'll get to that point. It's just a matter of time. But I really don't know how far you can progress. What is that? Pokeweed. What, what, what is that? Can I eat that? Oh, po pokeweed berries sound delicious. And like a for source of food. I can't get used to that already. Whoa. Um, I might be dead. <laughs> Note to self. Don't eat. Oh, it's got that one too. That leads you back to your course. Your course. Your corpse. Got lots of sheep around. We've got a nice corpse right here with my stuff. What? I'm a little confused how this works. It's this swap stuff. Oh, okay. And I get my own head. And I put down a skull hood in, in, in return. That's fine. We have stuff. I don't see... Oh, I do see some kind of mob. There are mobs coming, so... There definitely is mob spawns. And we are not in the safest spot right now. I'm not really that concerned, I guess. But, uh... Is that iron ore? It is too. Hmm. I would like to find some wood, because I don't... Oh, there's a skeleton over there, and I don't think he's friendly. What is that, a sunflower? we got zombies. Oh, no. Oh, no. Think Bad things. <laughs> bad things are happening. I have no idea. I'm horrified. We don't want to go that way. We need to find some wood. Some wood would be good. Uh, could, could you... I need to check if Tinkers is in here, too, actually. Uh, it seems like it would be beneficial to us. Take that. And one of those. One of these. In two days from now, you're, you're going to pass away. and <laughs> We will be safe again. There we go. Oh, I just put my head down. But I want my head. That's very important to me. There's all these weird sounds and stuff. Oh my goodness, my inventory is full. I think we can get away with not having a tiny pile of lapis dust. Yeah, what is that? See, see, I have no idea. Um, can I get into here? 
I'd rather not see my death marker as a cruel reminder of my beginning to the game. Uh, I'd like to find some wood somewhere to at least, you know, <laughs> show some kind of progress. A Yorkshire hog. Sounds delicious. I'll give him that. What is that? An ender? When it says ender and you look at it, it kind of scares you. Uh. Okay. They're endermen. They're flying endermen. Whoever designed this mod is a horrible person. I don't know if he's going to hurt me. I would assume so. I, I really would like him to just leave me alone. Oh. We get all kinds of people over here. And... Oh, oh my goodness. There's a harpy. And... And... A zombie with a diamond sword already? <laughs> I don't want any of this to happen. <laughs> Save me, dragon. Save me. Do you remember me? I'm the one that took all your gold. It's okay. Oh. Oh. Can I run? That would be great. Let's try to get to this building. Oh, there's a creeper. Everything bad is happening right now. <laughs> You really don't have much time to get set up in this pack. I'm going to say that. Oh, another waystone. Take that. Oh. He just one-shot me. I want to respawn. Okay, let's, let's talk to this guy. I don't really know what I'm doing. Can you help me? That sounds great. Did you just fall out of the sky? Yeah, kinda. That must have hurt. Is there anything I can help you with? I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay. Well, I don't have much to offer in terms of physical goods, but I know a thing or two about living on the land. I can also tell you about Waystones. It's the one next to us. Would you like to know about it? Sure. Waystones dot the landscapes, both in the wilderness and at places of importance. With a warp stone, which I don't have, one can freely teleport between ones they found. For a Waystone to be valid destination, however, you must activate your connection with it by placing your hand on it, which I have been doing. They aren't just found in the wild, though. You have the right materials. It's possible to craft waystones yourself. Not going to worry about that. I would need a warp stone. If you wish, you can make scrolls, blah, blah, blah. That's not helping me. Help with something else. Uh, well, I don't have much to offer to do, do. Living off the land. There we go. Oh, finding nest. Welcome. To start with, you need some basic materials. Easiest way to get some would be hunt down bird's nests for a few. Those birds have a tendency to hoard quite a few things that might come in handy. You should be able to find some by simply breaking some leaves. I really wish it would be daytime, but uh... Does that zombie not see me? I mean, I'm okay with that. But we're gonna break some leaves here. And... Hopefully find some apples. And... So, oh, what's that? That's everything that was on my body. I'll keep that just so I can hunt down my body. Oh, you are coming. I really need a sword. That would make my life so much easier. Take that. And take that. And that. And one of these. And a couple of those. And that. Do you want one of those? <laughs> I have no idea. I feel so weak and lost and confused. What is that? Did we just get a damaged leather belt? Can I wear that? Will that do anything for me? I, I want a damaged leather belt. Is that a bauble? No. Okay. Let's check out the uses on that. Leather scrap. So basically it's just to break down to other resources. Let's do that. And four of those make a leather. Okay. That makes sense. What is that? What did I just get? Steel grit. That sounds like a good grit to get. So I'm just going to keep breaking leaves. See if anything happens. Did I just see sticks? 
It's weird, some of the items that drop seem to fall in your inventory and other ones seem to go on the ground. I'm not really sure how that works. I know I just can't punch trees. I'm quite aware of that. You need to have a tool to do it. Oh, finding nest. We just found a nest. Go find that guy. There you go, you found out how to get bird's nests for some basic resources. Right click with them to find out what they hold. Bird's nests provide a number of different resources, some of which are quite rare. But for the moment, you just need a little flint and some sticks. So you just want me to make torches. There we go. We found some flint. We found some sticks. I could use some help. Living off the land continued. Simple hatchet. Next, it uses the materials you gathered from the nest to crude hatchet. Should be able to cut down a tree or two to get some wood. So, crude. Okay. Hatchet. This one? Flint hatchet. I guess this is the one it wants. Can't craft that one, but I can craft that one. So that's a weird little recipe. Let's do that though. And it starts off already broken. But I'm guessing that's going to let us get a, at least a couple of wood here. There we go. And we probably got a quest done by that guy. He's going to teach us how to live in the world, I guess. And there's fast leaf decay, which I like. I really like that. Let's take this. Not sure what I just got. We'll look in a bit. And you, because you give me sticks. Here we go. Good, looks like you're getting the hang of the survival stuff. Now apply what you've learned a bit more. I would love to. Uh, I could use some help. Living off the land, final. And now you know how to cut down trees, Ex excellent. Take some of that wood and make yourself a crafting table. Then use that crafting table to make some more robust tools from flint, which serve you much different. I'm actually curious. There's tinkers in here. Tinkers is not in here. What is that? Ability tokens. Totems. I have no idea. Let's... I guess we could do that. That will give us a crafting table. And that. What? Okay. Oh, I got a flint sinkhole too. Properties. Statistics. Wow, I there's some weird mods in this pack. I have no idea what's going on. It's rare that I'm this out of my element, but uh, that's what I expected. Uh, no, what was I making? I was making the crafting table, right? Final. Excellent. Take some of that wood and make yourself a craft room. Then use that craft room to make some more robust tools from flint. I keep hearing weird sounds and it makes me kind of anxious. Is that an enderpearl fragment? Yes. I'm guessing you can combine all these to make full ones. So ender dust into enderium into endium into endium blocks. Wow. There's... I don't even know this mod. Terrascius? Okay. I'm going to take their word for it. So, what is the other... Flint. Tools that we can make. More robust. Flint pick. Nope. Flint hoe, no. I already made that. A flint sword would be nice. Flint tomahawk? <laughs> that sounds fantastic. A flint bow. Oh, a flint axe. Is that the one I actually made? It's weird. Um, he needs to get some of these ones that actually don't work. Disabled. Uh, just so you could sort things out a little better. So two gravel equals a flint. That is good to know. Flint shovel. Okay, let's make a flint shovel. I can do that. Shovels are good. So it doesn't really tell me what I need to make. I don't know if there's a way to get into like a quest menu or a, oh, quest menu or something either. Oh, what's this? Basic tools. Oh, and you need to make a flint sword, a pl flint axe, and a flint pickaxe. So we are going to need oh, more bird's nest. <laughs> See, this pack is very interesting. I, 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 I'm not much into it, but I mean. The, Questing system is pretty cool. Is uh, you know, it's kind of unique. You actually have to interact 
with the mobs. Uh, something I'm not used to. Oh, uh, with the, uh, the NPCs, I should say. And how you have to go about the progression will be completely unique, because that is something he likes to do. You need a bunch of those tiny resources to get up the good resources. Early on, anyway. There'll probably be a way to speed that up later. And what was the last one we needed? Oh, pickaxe. The pickaxe should just be... That. Getting an upgrade. Sounds great. Uh, basic tools, we're done. Complete with Traveler. Complete. So, I could use your help. And he's got nothing. He's got nothing. He's taught us all we need to know. What's that? Mango. I could use some food, so... That dragon is... Making me worry about my life. I just want to get these... This wood. Hopefully I can convert that wood. I'm glad there's no gravity. That is something I will not miss from, uh... Invasion. Maybe I could set up in that, uh... Place where the monk was. I don't know how much the mobs care about stuff like that. Mostly just want this stuff. There we go. We have some wood. We have some saplings. And we got stuff. Let's go get our corpse. And we should be able to follow it with this thing. Yeah. That is a cool little thing that kind of guides you to your corpse. Don't know what mod's doing that. What mod is doing that? Tomb. Many graves. Look at that wit. The wit. Let's see here. We need this. Don't worry, I'm just taking your gold. I mean, you're not using it. You're a dragon. What are you going to use it for? Something tells me I don't want to be down here. But yet I'm looking. There is another chest. That might be a charred dirt. Come back later thing. But this seems like easy free resources, so I know in these kind of packs, gold end up being one of those golden ender pearls. They usually end up being the resources you have a real hard time early on. And uh what would be the other one? I never did check this building either. Uh, Emeralds. Emeralds tend to be the uh, harder to get resources early on. Oh, there's a door there. But we are missing a step or something. Can we get on that way? I'll we'll have to pay, place a block. Oh, we'll just use this because I don't need it. There we go. What's going on in here? We've got food. We've got a furnace. Whoa, all kinds of stuff. Surplus pantaloons of deflection. Sounds wonderful. Much better than I was previously wearing. We've got some decent tools. Statistics, I guess we'll look. Blast protection, some food would be good. Some, ooh, torches, pumpkin, a diamond ax, wow. That's actually my strongest weapon right now, probably. No, that one is highly durable. Minting, that's actually pretty good for right now. You know, you know you're at the beginning of a game when your top weapon is a enchanted diamond sword. Nothing there, just graphical. Can I? I just want to see if I could steal that furnace. If I'm able to take that, that would be cool. Yes, we can. Excellent. Oh, where did I get a? I did not see this. We have a crystal ball. We got a portable crafting table. Heart shards. We have a waystone for when we do set up a base, I guess. I don't know what the crystal ball is. Let's take a look at that. What mod is this? Minecraft comes alive. Uh oh.
Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm definitely a male. Which do I prefer? Uh, I prefer females. What is your name? I will be uh, System Collapse. I wonder if that kind of decides how the NPCs speak to you and stuff, maybe? Time will tell, I guess. I would really... There we go. I wanted that. I don't need the crafting table. Let's just take off. Let's see if we can get back to our, our body up here without, you know, making this... Uh, what is that? Is that pulverized obsidian? You are coming. Can, can you... Are you actually coming? Did I get it? I don't think I did. Hmm. What is that? That's so many odd things. So much going on. Mob's aggression radius does not... No! ...seem overly hard. Or... Not hard. Uh... Long. I've noticed that. They're, they don't seem to pick up on you until you're pretty close, which is good. Um, but yeah, I, saying that, I've already died, what, two times? Once from a flower and once from being one-shot by some satirous thingy. Go away, sir. Oh, that does much more damage than the one damage I was doing with my bare hands. There we go. Oh! Oh, it would be a little one, wouldn't it? I dare ya. I dare ya, little buddy. Oh, no. No! Wow. Okay. We're going to close this door. And, uh, pretend everything's okay in life. I'm curious if I can get this chest down here. <gasps> what is going on? Get in there. Get in there. I'm probably dead. Okay. Whoa. I wasn't sure what that was. It was a giant stack of gold. Uh, what's that in there? I just want my things. I just kind of want to set up in a spot. And try to get things figured out. Oh no. We're doing everything wrong. <laughs> there we go. I just want that chest. Give me the chest. That would be wonderful. Everything is so odd. Oh, it's because it, because there's a torch over it. Torch is considered a full block. That is a uh, bad developing by some mod dev. Just just throwing that out there. There we go. And I guess we can do this. Throw that up there. Just try to get all of our stuff back. There we go. There we go, we have everything. Have our everything. And uh, we can erase our horrible past. And yeah, we've at least got some, wow, look at all this stuff. Potion healing, lingering condensed potions, speed three. They probably get mad at us if we take it. Hmm, do you need help with anything? Few things come to mind interesting in these tales of heart crystals that I've heard from other travelers. We could use some supplies and and the saddle for our horse is in need of repair. Hmm. Can you help with that? Sure. Art crystals. So, didn't I have... Where did I get that backpack? Oh, that was fat loots. What did I just get? Fat loots. I got a fishing rod, apparently. Iron fishing rod. Can we wear those? No, these are going to be scrappers, aren't they? Okay, and that'll turn... Oh, that's beetroot. That'll turn into a piece of leather. 
Okay, I'm starting to get this. It's starting to make sense. Uh, we got tons of room in here. And now we can kind of organize. Wow, this is pretty cool so far. Pretty cool. What is that? That's, uh, that's Ars Magica, isn't it? Yeah. And what do we got in here? Hmm, there's a lot of work done in this. Uh, I know mine colonies is in this, but I don't think this is mine colonies. This must be some kind of RPG type mod. What's up here? What was that? It was cork door. Some mushrooms growing out of your floor. You know, do you really need to grow your mushrooms right here? Come on, buddy. They don't seem to have much. Okay, I think I'm going to end this one here. I mean... Not the greatest start by any means, but wandering around, we're seeing a lot of cool stuff. We didn't even go very far. We've died two times. We've gotten lots of weird loots. Uh, I've got my own head, which is amazing. Can I wear my head? Yes. I am me wearing my own head, so now I have a bigger head. But uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to end this episode here, though, because... Uh, yeah, I, I honestly have no clue what I'm doing. There are so many mods in this pack interacting with other mods that I don't even know where to start. I don't know if I'm supposed to go and set up a base and, you know, progress through, you know, quest and so on and so forth. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk to these guys to help me get through the, the pack. Um, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it over time. Um... It's just really cool. I'm really excited for this. It's going to be fun. So I am going to end this here, though. So here we go with my shiny pants. As always, if you like this video, please hit that. Oh, it says choose a class. How do I do that before I go? No, I want to choose a class. What? Choose a class. Uh, <laughs> I must have a class. Ours Magica, better of mobs. I think that one's called like level up, isn't it? Choose the class one. Item, journey, movement, presets. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out later, I guess. Oh, it was this one. L, but there's conflict. As always, let's try this one. I always go for these uh, page up, page down, home end, those ones. Because they're rarely bound to anything. So I find it's a nice, easy way of doing it. And that doesn't seem to do anything. Options, controls, one more time. Let's see if that actually set. Delete item, trash lot, camp camping mod. Apparently there's a camping one. Locomotive. Wow, there's trains apparently. Oh, railcraft. Gotcha. I have not seen railcraft in a long time. Preset selection. Like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I have no idea what anything is. There are so many weird little mods in here. Which is fun, because I love it. I love this. Let's try end. Can we do it here? Nope. We'll figure that out later. So, as always, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. Uh, I want you guys all to have a good one. And I will see you guys in the next video. I don't know if it's going to be this or straight and nuts and bolts. I may do another one or two of these first. So just throwing that out there. So I will see you guys in the next video. Later.